This is an IGCSE paper for one, all right? So uh, one one actually. So let's get started with this. So first of all, a train leaves from a place to the others. Find out the time taken. So what we need to do is we have seven hours and thirty two minutes on the next day, and then we need to find out how much time we take out from the previous. So two four zero zero minus twenty two forty. So this will be zero and twenty minutes, and then uh, one hour. So we add that to it. So we have one hour and twenty minutes to this place. We got eight hours and fifty-two minutes. Nice and easy. So a sample of battery, eight eighty battery, three are faulty. Work out the percentage of this is faulty. So we have three out of eighty times one hundred percent. So all you need to do is your calculator. 3 divided by 80 times 100. So we have 3.75%. Moving on, a group of students, the probability that the student left-handed is 0.08. Find the probability it's not left-handed, so it's 1 minus, it's, if it's not left, it should be right. So 1 minus 2.8, uh, 2 .8, so we have 1 minus 0.28. And then we got 0 0.72 is the probability. And then we write this in the ordinary number. So we have 1.27 and then times 1 point, uh, 10 to the negative 3, which means that 1.27, we move the decimal to the left, 3 points. So 1, 2, 3, and this should be the decimal place. And we fill that in with 0, so it's 0 0.00127. And 60,000 meters, 6,000 meters, all right, so we, to become km, so we take three zeros out, 60. That was quite fast. And then moving on, we need to calculate, uh, and then with four significant figure. So we use our calculator, 2.1 minus 0.078 to the power 17. Now we got a big number, four significant figure, so we start to count. One, two, three, four. And uh, we're looking at eight, and then the, the six will be move one up. So we have one, five, seven, nine, and then these zero have to fill in. All right. Write down the mechanical ninety less than ninety degree is an acute angle. And a five sided polygon is a pentagon. All right, now this time factors. Adding factors, we add to the right place. So negative 2 plus negative plus negative 4 and negative 3 plus 7. So then we have negative 6 and 4 as the answer. Multiply, we multiply both of them. So it's 10 and negative 40. Further down, we write down the rotation of symmetry. So if we point that on, we will replace the 1 two, three, three daughter. So it should be the third. Draw the lines of symmetry on those. So we need to have our ruler, our lovely ruler here. So it should be folding up like this. At the tip. Let's see if they're missing anyone. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is all we have. All right, now moving on. Abraham is a, uh, the sub, a person changed that 2000 from Saudi Arabia to Euro and then he changed rate. So what? how much has he received? So we have $2,000 divided by 5.087 and 7 here. All right, use our calculator. So it's $33 in, because it's nearest to Euro, so 39.593 as the answer. Lowest common multiple, so we have 36, 48, we divide. So we could have 4, 9, and 12, a bit more, three and four. So we multiply all the L shape here. 
So 12 times 12 is 144. Find the value of y if these values is given. So y will be used to negative 2 times negative 7 plus negative 3. So we have 14 minus 3 equals to 11. Further down, we're going to change the subjects to x. So we have y equals to qx over p. Throw it to the other side, y, p equals to qx. Uh, so we have to multiply, put it at the other side, we got to divide. And then I should write the question here, I'll write the answer here. All right, coming up, we got a bit of a geometry here. So this is isosceles, this is parallel, find the angle of those. So first of all, um, this isosceles, so this should be A2. So what I need to do is an angle sum of triangle, 180 minus 40 divided by 2. So we have 80 should be 70. And then continue with those, I can see a parallel line here which work with the C. So we have A plus A plus B should be equals to 180. Since we have A already, so B should be 40 here. All right, now we have a similar triangle here. So we have AC over B. F should be equals to BC over EF. We do not know EF, but we got the rest of them. So EF should be equals to 8.4 times 15 divided by 6. And 21 is the answer. Without using the calculator, so we throw that away, we need to show the working of those. So we have 6 over 7 divided by 1 over 1 and 2 over 3. So we have 6 over 7, change it to mixed number first, not too fast. So it's 5 over 3, flip it to the other side, 6 over 7 times 3 over 5. Multiply the rest of them because we cannot end up any cancel anything out. All right, next I'm going to the sequence. So we add 4, add 4, add 4. The next one should be add 4. So we have 19. And uh, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. The next one should be minus 3. So that should be negative 2. Last but not least, I can see square number here. 1, 3, 5, 7 square. So the next one should be 9 square, should we give you 81. All right, looking at the graph here, we can we are asking what is total correlation? Definitely it's going downwards, so it's negative. All right, Brad wants to go close to that as possible, and the maximum money she got he got is 50,000. So what is the house of bubble to be? So if we draw a line come here, so it should be about 6 km there. Actually, 4 will be more appropriate there. Because if we draw a line, the line of regression here. You should have something like this. All right, draw a band. I, I draw that. And then estimate the price of a 14 km from center. So 14, we're going up there. It should be about 30. Um, so that should be about somewhere 30. By looking at it, and this should be 
and then use compass and stretch edge only so construct it so I do not have a compass here but we can go this line here and then the other side so now we draw the line apologies I do not have so perpendicular bisector we draw the use the arc to draw it here the two side and it should be aligned right down here And make sure you write that down to let people know that it's perpendicular bisector. All right, so solving a simultaneous equation. So we look at that, we do not have anything. So both method of substitute, uh, substitution and elimination should work. Equation one, equation two. Uh, this two doesn't really work there. So I will work with equation one, two x equals to 15 minus three y. So because I throw the y to the other side, x should be equals to 15 minus 3y to the power two, uh, divided by 2. So put this into equation 1. So we have 15 minus 3y over 2 times 5 equals to 4y plus, equal, plus 4y equals 13. Ayo, 5, 15 minus 2y, and then plus 8y equals to 26. 30 minus 10y plus 8y equals to 26. So we throw this to the other side, so we can have negative y equals to negative 4. y should be equals to uh, Oops. Alright, sorry. This should be 75 there. I'm going to go wrong. Sorry, I sleep the wrong thing. All right, so 75, ooh, that's dangerous. So 26 minus 75 should be negative 49, and this is a three there, so it's 15. So 15 minus 18 should be seven. So we have y equals to seven, sorry about that. And then we put it back to x. x should be equals to 15 minus three times seven divided by two. So we have 15 minus 21 divided by 2. So that should be a negative 3 somewhere. Yes. So make sure you write down the answer on the other side, negative 3 and 7 here. All right. So write down coordinate of A. The point is 0, 1. And the gradient of AB, we got 3, 7, and 0, 1. So we have 7 minus 1 over 3 minus 0. So we have, we should have 2, uh, go, we should have 2 there. Write down the equation of the line y equals mx plus c. So y equals to m2 x plus the y intercept plus 1. Write down the equation of any line parallel to this. So we need to have the same slope. That should be right. So y equals to 5x. You can have minus 5 plus 5 or something. So as long as you got the slope is equal. All right. So this is our last page. So what calculate the volume? Well, then it's 12 times 7 times 8. This time I learned, I use my calculator. So... 12 times 7 times 8, I got the wall in 672. Another cube like this, and then we do not, I find the length of it. So 675 divided by 9 divided by 6 is the answer. So 12.5, that's the last answer. The volume of the pyramid, so we need to have the base area times the height. So 9 times 5 divided by 2 times 24 here. So calculator again. Yep, this time you saw it. 9 times 5 divided by 2 and then you times 24. And 550 is the answer. And this is the end of the core. Yep, the answer. So this is the end of the core 1 paper.